All right, so earlier we were telling you about Americans taking jobs in the shrimp industry off the Texas coast, and they're calling it quits much sooner than expected, saying the job is just too tough. And shrimping operators claim federal policies are making it tough to hire people. Border correspondent Oscar Margain has more from Brownsville. Some Texas shrimp boats are returning to shore after just two weeks at sea to unload freshly caught shrimp and newly hired shrimpers. Back breaking work, man. Really? You got too much education for this. Mississippi native Paul Jones is calling it quits after 17 days. The boat he worked on, the Dorada Cruz, wasn't supposed to return until mid-August. The people here, the American guys, you know why they're not working? Because they feel the same way like I do. It's not worth it. It's a problem shrimp companies have struggled with lately. A shortage of migrant workers caused in part by higher American policies. The company's claim forces them to rely on inexperienced labor. This is longtime shrimper Greg Laundry. It's these one or two positions we need to fill per boat. I mean, we're not talking any kind of significant number of people. But what that production does here on land and how it rotates through commerce, through our stores, through the processing plants where many, many more American jobs are tied to. Laundry says half of the first time workers hired just two weeks ago have already quit. Today, the Department of Homeland Security approved his company's petition for 20 migrant workers after Congress failed to address the demand in time for the start of the shrimping season. For decades, the United States was operated and has operated a very low-skilled immigration system. Today, President Trump, along with Senators Tom Cotton and David Perdue, announced legislation to reform legal migration by prioritizing high-skilled, English-proficient, and economically stable foreigners. Spokespersons for both senators assured this will be totally separate from the seasonal workers program that deals with industries like shrimping. It's sore, dude. Yeah. Shrimpers here believe the federal government's priorities are misguided, and it's what's influencing people like Paul to take jobs they aren't always fit to do. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do it again. A laundry says it could take three more weeks or so before he can hire the migrant workers he needs. In the meantime, his company is looking for workers today to replace the ones they've already lost. In the Port of Brownsville near the Texas-Mexico border, I'm Oscar Margain reporting. Our thanks to Oscar for that report along the border.